Oh, another picture perfect day. Cooler than yesterday, but temperatures still nice in the 70s. We've got a closer look at your forecast coming up. First at 5.30, a South Kingstown restaurant forced to temporarily close its doors after an early morning fire. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kim Kalunian. I'm Mike Montecalvo. The fire happened at 210 Oyster Bar and Grill, and we've learned fire crews arrived just in time to contain it. 12 News reporter Valerie Moravi spoke to the owner and joins us now live. Valerie. That's right, guys. Well, the union uh, fire department arrived at the restaurant here on Salt Pond Road just moments before 4 o'clock this morning, and we can still smell the smoke from the fire that has put more than 50 staff members temporarily out of a job. Early Tuesday morning, fire crews arrived and started to extinguish the flames. Tim Blevins has been coming to the restaurant since they first opened more than eight years ago. He says he is shocked to hear the news. We just see that they're closed and then we heard that there was a fire, which is which kind of sucks. I hope everything's going to be OK. Firefighters found fire on the deck spreading towards the kitchen area, but they were able to knock it down in about half an hour. The owner of the restaurant, Pete Santilli, declined to speak on camera, but he tells us more than 50 staff members will be out of a job until further notice. I'm hoping it's just going to be for a short time, but I guess we have to wait and see. Chef Rob Pierney also told 12 News the staff has been preparing for the busy summer season. He said his heart goes out to the owner, who he says he has been great to the staff. Psyched about, uh, yeah, having an afternoon here, so I guess we'll go mosey on somewhere else. Again, the building is not a complete loss and no one was injured. The fire remains under investigation. For now, there's no word on when they're planned to reopen. Live in South Kingstown, Valerie Moravi, 12 News. All right, Valerie, thank you. New video tonight from